on your wrist plain giant. The following video is broadcasting live and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. What up and welcome back everyone. I am on lunch from my car talking to you all about how annoying, how annoying, right? People can be, and let me know if y'all can hear me good. I don't, I, I like, I like having good sound equipment and good sound quality when I go live. So I understand that this is a, a totally different situation and I want to make sure that you all can hear me clearly. Okay. So help me understand, help me understand how and why celebrities and common folk can be so professionally offended. This is something that I'm like, I can't even type up my bullet points and wait till I get off work. I need to talk about this now. How is it that people can be so professionally offended by Will Smith and the slap, right? A black man who lost his cool. He lost his cool. He totally did. I think that all of us would recommend therapy to Will Smith um, after he did what he did. How is it? I've been deeply affected since my initial reporting. Can y'all hear me good? Okay, cool. How is it that everybody was so goddamn traumatized by the slap, but nobody's traumatized by this? Nobody's traumatized. Your favorite, cele all of your celebrities that spoke out about Will Smith and how the slap traumatized me. I'm so affected. But y'all ain't affected by this? Make that make sense for me. How does that make sense? It, it, it seems to me that all of these celebrities that were speaking out against a fellow black celebrity, they were looking for clout. They were looking for clout. They made Will Smith and shit trend literally for weeks, almost a month straight. I've never seen no shit like that in all of my media days. And baby, I've been in the media since I was five and a half, almost six years old. I've never seen no shit like that. It was like the damn OJ trial. We talking about a goddamn slap. Y'all mean to tell me that all the white and black, oh baby, because I want to jump on the black celebrities first, because those are the people who are more so that I'm pissed off at when it comes to Will Smith and the slap. Y'all were upset at the slap. Y'all were willing to publicly show up in stone, because that's what it was, right? It's bad enough that Will Smith did what he did, because look what it cost him. But all of y'all wanted to show up and stone him. It was a verbal and a social stoning. Everyone gets to cast their stone. Something to aid in the detriment of that black man who had done some shit that y'all didn't fucking agree with. Who lost the life when it comes to the slack? Who lost the life? We had hundreds of celebrities speaking out about the slap. Who's speaking out about what happened yesterday in Texas at the elementary school? Tell me. Help me understand. Help me understand. Help me understand who? Who? Those are two niggas working shit out. I'm not excusing it. No, I'm not saying that what, what Will Smith did was okay. Again, look at what it has costed him. However, Everybody, I'm so traumatized by the slap. You're not traumatized by this because nobody lost their life. No child, no innocent kids were killed when it came to that slap. But when we talk about things that matter, we're talking about using your influence, using your voice, using your power of celebrity to talk about shit that really matters. All of y'all are fucking silent, but y'all were willing to speak up and get your lick in, get, throw, cast your stone in the, the stoning and public crucifixion of Will Smith. A got, It was a bitch slap at that. Wasn't a slap that hurt, but it was a slap that embarrassed the other person. And I'm not trying to trivialize or, or, or lessen what Chris Rock went through. But listen, we're talking about a slap as opposed to 19 kids who lost their lives yesterday. We're talking six to 10 year olds, second to fourth graders. That's what we're talking about. 
And shout out to everybody in the live chat. And thank you for hitting thumbs up on this video and maybe sharing it with somebody because it's 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 really infuriating the clout chase that a lot of celebrities and common folk are on. But talk about it. Where's the Wanda Sykes and the Jim Carrey's and the others who wanted to speak out about the slap and wanting to villainize and demonize Will Smith? Definitely maybe a conversation that needed to be had. But again, these people are obsessed with talking about celebrities instead of talking about real things. This is a problem. These children are left vulnerable in unprotected schools are areas with the least resistance. And that is the reason why they are targeted. But actually, it's not just schools. When we talk about what happened in Buffalo, New York, not too long ago, it was a poor town. Blacks were targeted because there was the least amount of resistance there. We talking about an 18 year old that showed up to an elementary school with automatic weapons. 19 families have to bury a child And y'all aren't traumatized by that, but you're traumatized by the slap. Make that make sense for me. Make it make sense. Because I'm, I'm not finding any sense to be made. I had no clue that I was going to be so affected by this story yesterday. I had no fucking clue. I covered the story as soon as I got off work yesterday. I did a follow-up story not even an hour later after I ended that broadcast. And then I went live a third time to do my regular show. And I, I couldn't even do my regular show because I was, I was I, my, my mom was still on the last story, which really fucking mattered. Fuck them celebrities. Forget them. They don't matter. What matters are the leaders of tomorrow. These the, the, the 19 students showed up to an elementary school in Texas yesterday to learn their ABCs and one, two, threes. And they will be returned to their families in a casket. What are we doing about this? This is something that celebrities need to use their voice about because that's when you get the most action, right? When you get celebrities actually drawing attention to things that really matters and it, and it gets the attention of, of, of government and, and other, um, you know, officials in these high places. That's when you really catch and you really get a change. Us everyday folk, it takes a lot to get us all on one accord. But when these celebrities start speaking up, you these celebrities got millions of followers to make noise. Cardi B wants to be a, a goddamn, she feels as though she's a necessary voice in politics. Really? Did you speak out about Buffalo? How much noise are you making about it? And you're from New York. Did you speak out about Texas? Because I'm pretty sure if it was your kid in the school, you would speak out about it. But it, you don't need a kid that goes to school in Texas in order to speak up about shit like this. Cardi B has over 13 million followers on Instagram. God damn it. If she put out one tweet about it and if she added a governor, a law, if she tweeted the people that fucking matter that can make a difference, you goddamn right some change will be made because something needs to happen. Do we have the answers? No, but a dialogue needs to take place with regards to how did Sandy Hook happen all over again? How did Sandy Hook happen all over again? Sandy Hook happened on December of 2012. December 14, 2012, actually. 26 lives were claimed. 20 were students, 6 were teachers. Yesterday in Texas, there were 21 affected. 19 students. Dead. Dead. But the celebrities all wanted to speak up. All 89 of them wanted to show up. Oh, I'm so, I'm so traumatized by watching this man slap this man on TV. Oh, I'm so upset at Cardi B shaking her ass on television. It's terrible for my cats. Oh, is it? How come this shit right here ain't terrible for your kids? 
it's not making any sense. <laughs> the clout chasing, the virtue signaling has to stop. The virtue signaling has to stop. These celebrities ain't shit. If they, I, 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 Taraji P. Henson was single-handedly called on and selected by Joe Biden and or his team, right? And or his team. To be a representative of, 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 of helping the relationship and, and the optics that Joe Biden has with school debt relief in HBCUs. I implore you to go see what Taraji has said about this. I implore you to go see what Cardi B has said about this since she feels like she's a necessary voice in politics. She the fuck is not. If that's the case, oh, she, she's she's relatable to a lot of people, is she? Because every, every, every hood stripper <laughs> can be relatable to people. Maybe you're not a necessary voice in politics when you only speak on policy and shit once every two years. When's the last time Cardi B said anything about politics or what's affecting the world? Baby, it was 2020 when she sat down with Joe Biden. I used the fuck out of my platform, she said in a quote that was all across the headlines the other day when, when the interview with, with Letterman went out. No, the fuck you don't. Oh, why did you? How about they told me my phone overheated? Luckily, I have two phones because my current phone still literally says temperature of your phone needs to cool down. Oh, okay. Now they're letting me back into my phone. Okay. The fact of the matter is every celebrity, every single celebrity decided to show up to stone Will Smith and crucify their fellow black celebrity, but they don't want to talk about school massacres. Hell, they don't even want to talk about adult massacres. Why is that? Why is that? There was a need to stop idolizing these celebrities. And at first I thought that people were just haters, right? When I heard people going with the rhetoric of stop idolizing these celebs, I'm like, you just mad that people make more money than you doing what they love. I ain't gonna lie, that, that, that was my ignorant ass thought process. But I see it now. I've been so affected by this story yesterday. I didn't really sleep the best yesterday. I actually wanted to use my hour-long lunch today to nap. Sometimes I take a nice, hot, juicy nap for lunch. Instead of eating or instead of doing stuff on my phone for the brand, I nap. But I couldn't today. And I'm tired. I didn't sleep well. I was in the middle of doing my entertainment show yesterday, and I had to stop in the middle. In the middle and just in it unexpectedly because I... I call myself giving a 60 second moment of silence for all the victims and the families of yesterday's massacre. And I just couldn't shake it. I just couldn't shake it. I call myself putting that in the intro and talking about entertainment news and everything like that. And I still just couldn't shake it. It was still just on me heavy. It saddened me. It was after one o'clock in the, was it after, I think it was maybe like one o'clock in the morning and I just couldn't. And so I see there's someone in the comments that said it had nothing to do with them directly. And Doris, you're absolutely right. The fact of the matter is when it comes to the slap, we could talk about the slap. The slap didn't have shit to do with them directly either. But, but they decided that they were so traumatized by and about the slap that they wanted to speak out. And it was more about villainizing a black man that lost his cool for a moment. Some shit that really wasn't none of their business. It didn't affect them. I'm afraid that I could be next. Well, you're just one person in the audience watching one person slap another. Imagine one of your kids or your neighbor's kids or your family members that could have been next as they showed up to fourth grade in Texas yesterday. The probabilities of that are more high than you being on stage with Chris Rock and Will Smith and you feeling like you next in the slap rotation. Bitch, you're not. And that's the problem. Is that influence and power is given to all of the wrong people. Why don't we have outrage about what happened in Buffalo? Why don't we have outrage about what happened in Texas? 
questions that need answers, but actually we already have our answers. Wanda Sykes, baby, what's going on? What's going on, Wanda Sykes? You you wanted to step up and talk about how Will Smith was so wrong. It, it, it's the person who, who killed 19 children yesterday. Are they not wrong too? I want to know. I'm just curious. I'm just saying. Black celebrities, white celebrities from all over the world, they showed up to get their licks in and to throw their stone at Will Smith, but none of them can speak up about this. Baby, this is a fucking problem. Y'all are some sick, especially the black people who showed up to villainize and publicly voice their disdain, right? To pretend that they are holier than thou, that they will never lose their cool in such a way while so many people are looking on while things are televised. Y'all are some sick Negroes. Sick. This is a sick Negro. I just want to go to the... I want to go to the bush and weed. I do. This is a sick Negro. But my phone ain't really give me all that I needed to give to give y'all the sick Negro clip. I don't think that my phone is going to allow me to go to the bush and weep either. I don't. It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. Well, we went to the bush. To all my channel members throwing up the pancakes, thank you. To all my channel members using their special emojis, we got an emoji to go to the bush and weep, okay? Thank you. Thank you, because this is definitely worth weeping over. Why aren't more people talking about this? I literally lost sleep last night over this incident. And, and is the answer gun control or whatever? Listen. There's a pattern here. Listen, I, I'll point out a pattern in the heart because I get tired of people trying to use single events to act like, oh, this is this was just a once in a no, it wasn't. There, there's a pattern here. We've got 18-year-olds getting their hands on automatic weapons to cause mass harm. Are there no psychological evaluations when you have to attain these firearms? We talk about what happened to Buffalo. He was 18. We talk about what happened yesterday in Texas. He was 18. We talk about Sandy Hook. He was 20. A lot of these people are 18 to 20 years old doing this crazy shit, not to mention the nigga who did the shit. Or not the nigga, the thug, right? The thug. The very violent thug. Salvador Ramos had just turned 18 three days ago, which is two days prior to when he carried out this vicious ass act. 18 years old, automatic weapons. You got to ask yourself, right? Buffalo happened. They targeted black folk. A 600-page manifesto. When you read it, it's very militant. Very fucking militant. He didn't do that shit himself. He didn't do it by himself. He had help. He had help. He had military weapons, he had military intent, he had military execution, and when you read the manifesto, goddamn it, didn't no goddamn 18-year-old write a 583-page manifesto by himself. Read it for yourself. It's out there. I read it. He didn't write that alone. I, listen, I've written several long essays, but baby, that right there? just to reach the page count, the word count, so on and so forth. Baby, that right there was something different. So ask yourself and ask your fellow celebrities, ask your Jim Carrey's and your Wanda Sykes. I can't remember the name of that black actor that played on Blacklist. Black, white, it don't matter what color they are. Ask them why they were so traumatized by the slap and they felt the need to speak out about it, but they won't speak out about this. Ask them. Ask them, because these are the things that if, 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 if celebrities and common folk together clamp down and speak out about it, something will change. Did you see how fast Walmart took that motherfucking ice cream off the shelf? Did you see that? Did you see it? They decided to release an ice cream 
of a flavor that was very unique. Only two companies have this flavor, but one of the companies that have that flavor is a black-owned company that they actually sell in the store. It's on the shelves. Red Velvet and Cheesecake. Creamalicious is a black-owned brand that's also sold in Walmart, so they undercut. They stole a black, soulful, southern flavor from her, slapped the dashiki and kente cloth on it, and decided to say, let's celebrate Juneteenth. Did you see how fast they pulled that shit off the shelves and apologized? Because they did. That's how much a public outcry can do. And, and, and get it. Like, that's just Walmart. But we're talking about when you shine a flashlight on what's wrong and who's wrong, shit starts to scatter. Shit starts to change. Put the light on the roach, you'll see it run. Put the light on an issue, you'll see it change. Or you'll see people start playing the blame game and you'll start seeing some real information come out. So it's really annoying how a lot of these celebrities decided that they don't want to speak. They don't want to speak on the loss of innocent lives. The leaders of tomorrow, six to 10 year olds, they don't want to speak on that. But they want to speak about Will Smith and the slap. This, this this ties into that very same issue that I had with issues underneath the flag. I know a lot of y'all might not want to hear it, but listen, it is what it is. There are a lot of issues underneath the flag. There are a lot of predators aiming towards your kids and others. But you'll catch all the members, right? Lots of members of the LGBT community with a voice, with an influence, with power. They don't want to speak about that. They'd rather speak about celebrities and they want to drag Nicki Minaj all day or they want to drag Cardi B all day or they want to talk about how Will Smith isn't really fat because he showed his dad body and he's ruining the body positivity movement. They want to speak about bullshit all day long and pick shit apart and create issues that aren't even there. That aren't even there. But when it comes to protecting the kids, which is calling out people who are using that LGBTQIA plus flag, they are using that flag as a shield because they know that people are apprehensive about asking questions. People are apprehensive about asking questions to people who identify that way because what they're scared to offend people. They're scared that they're going to step on someone's toes. They're scared that they're going to be called some type of phobic. And that is the reason why you have child groomers and child predators using that flag as a shield. This is shit that needs to be spoken about. And these are people who identify just like you, whether they're really part of the LG. Hell, they've e they're even trying to add another letter to the LGBTQ community. They're trying to call it M. So they're trying to add an M onto the LGBTQIA+. They want to add the M because you know what M stands for? It stands for minor attracted people. They're trying to normalize grooming your children, touching your children, sexualizing your children by considering themselves a part of the LGBT community as minor attracted people to attach that shit to the community because why? They know that underneath of that labeling, they're less prone to be questioned. So start asking yourself why these celebrities aren't speaking up about what's happening to these kids being victimized. And thank you to the new person that just joined the membership. Thank you so much. I see you over there. Yes, they are trying to add an M to the LGBTQ community. Yes, they are. They're considering themselves minor attracted people and they think that it's normal and they want to add that on too the community. And so, yeah, it might be unpopular to do what I do. Some people may call me phobic and baby, I'm not. I don't give a shit who you attracted to, what type of dresses or, or, or masculine wear you like to wear. I don't give a fuck about who you fucking and what you wearing. That ain't my goddamn business. What matters is these kids, though. That's what really matters. Thank y'all for hitting thumbs up on this video. I got to head back to work because I'm on lunch break and my break is running out. But I had to speak on this. I had to. Because I, I just, the way that Will Smith, and Will Smith still trending. He he uttered two words four days ago and here he go to blogs. Oh, let's go to Will Smith, Will Smith. Fuck that. Fuck that. 
That's not important. That man and his problems and his marriage and, 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 and whether he's gotten the therapy or needs the therapy and how he loves his school, baby, in what universe does that matter? Who is that affecting? You had YouTubers making 20 videos at a time, four videos a day about Will Smith. Does that really matter? Does that really matter? It does not. It does not. You got to ask yourself why why celebrities and other folk are more outraged at a fucking televised slap than this. That's the question for today. So whether you create these conversations, go ahead and tweet about it. You ain't got to mention me. Just tweet about it because it, this is a necessary piece of the dialogue. Please have these conversations. I implore you, have these conversations online. Have these conversations on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, wherever the case is. If you want to share this video, fine. If not, that's cool too. Because I don't matter in the midst of this discussion or this dialogue. The dialogue is more important than me. I'm just a messenger when it comes to shit that really matters. So thank you for hitting thumbs up on this video. It means a lot. Thank you so much for sharing this video. It means a lot. I realize I've been talking about a lot of heavy shit and a lot of real shit lately, which is why YouTube has got me in the pits. Do you hear me? They ain't, they ain't promote my video to anybody. So when you want to share these videos, let me tell you how much it means to me. Okay? It means a lot. And I'm, I'm grateful. There are some people who send me cash apps when I'm off air. Some send me cash apps when I'm on air. Some send super chats. All of that is appreciated. But listen, if you just hit like on this video, I appreciate it just the same. If you consider subscribing, because I do pride myself in being home at the best black news and breaking celebrity entertainment um, information. I appreciate that as well. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the notification bell. And thank you all for listening to my lunch rant. This was a rant that I felt like was necessary and that's all I can really say. I, I, I've, when I learned that all of those children, the 19 children who lost their lives yesterday were all in one classroom, it took me back to elementary school. We show up to learn and the cutout shapes the shit. You don't show up for that. When I was coming up, we had fire drills and tornado drills. That was it. We didn't have school shooter drills. So it's really sad what these children have to go through. And it's even sadder that the adults don't find it necessary to create conversations and to start the dialogue that is going to help spark the ideas that is going to eventually protect them. If, if something were to be done, it's been 10 years since Sandy Hook. And nothing has changed. It's very saddening. It's very saddening. Listen, I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. I really should be sleeping when I get off work because I'm so tired and so sleep deprived from creating content, editing content, going live several times yesterday. I uploaded a video yesterday about Kanye West. Please go look at it if you haven't already. It gives you a nice breakdown of what Kanye West is up to, but also Pusha T's history with McDonald's. They gypped him out of money. They gave him a deal. He came up with the I'm loving it. Um, slogan for McDonald's and they didn't pay him accordingly. So if you want to break down on Pusha T's history with McDonald's, be sure to check out that edited video. I would greatly appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, I uploaded that video yesterday. I did two, actually I did three lives and one uploaded video yesterday. So I've been working my ass off because I'm really passionate and, and I get really inspired by black news. Um, so listen, just thank you for supporting my channel. I need to go ahead and head back to work. Um, share this video with someone if you can. I'm so sorry I couldn't get to the live chat comments. You have to understand how small the live chat comments are on my phone. When I'm at home and I'm on my computers, when I got all my computer screens, I can see your comments clear as day. I can barely see much of anything on this phone. So I see that there was a lot of support in the chat. There are over 100 people right now. So over 100 people. I hope that when I get back to my desk at work, I see that I have over 100 likes. Okay. Um, and just thank you so much for um, supporting me and my messaging and, and what I stand for over here on my channel. Um, Y'all have a good day. I'm out. Hey.
bullets on your wrist brain giant. But that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen, or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.